Right, let's stuff and sew up Colin the Velociraptor. So remove any stitch markers that you might have used. They should just pull out if you use the technique of um, putting them through the stitch as you work. Now, if you've fully completed the pattern um, before you stuff, so you've gone down to not many stitches there, you might want to just open that up a little bit to pull it backwards if you're finding it difficult to get the stuffing through that hole. An alternative to doing that um, is just before you do that last round of decreasing is make sure you put your stuffing in there. So I've just pulled that back a few stitches just to make that a little bit more open. And then you can push your stuffing in using the heel end of your hook. So like that. And as much as possible, try and get that stuffing in in one piece like that. Now on this design, the spots form the back of the body. So you'll be able to arrange that stuffing neatly to get your spots on the back of the body. And then you've got that tummy shape facing forwards. And when you put the stuffing in, make sure you move it around. Don't just presume that it will land in the right place. You just need to manipulate that a little bit um, to make sure it's in correctly. I'm gonna put a tiny little extra bit in the top there because Colin does have a rather large head. Um, so I want to make sure that there's enough stuffing in that neck to effectively support that head. Now I finished that bit off, so I'm just going to do a little bit of the decreasing that I pulled back at the beginning there to get that stuffing in. And as I said before, you can do that as you are crocheting. So you could do that before now. Um, alternatively, if you are patient, you would be able to stuff it through that hole using the handle of your hook as I did there. Right, so that's the body stuff. Now onto the head. And Colin is one where the head is made in um, two pieces of jaw. So the larger one is the top of the head and then the smaller one is the bottom jaw. Let's push that stuffing in. So that's the top jaw stuffed. And then I'm going to do the bottom one. Use the handle of your hook to push the stuffing into place. It's actually the best tool for doing the job. Right, now time to gather these stitches together. So just take your length of yarn Gather those stitches and secure. And Colin has an open jaw like this, and that's really to, um, as he's a velociraptor, he is a carnivore, uh, obviously a predator. And so um, the split jaw really represents that. But what I do just to make that um, a little bit more closed is I will now tack, once I've gathered that top jaw like that, I will just tack between the top and the bottom with a few stitches to, to secure that so it's in a slightly more closed position than um, gaping open. But that really is personal preference. So that's all the ends in on the head. Let's sew the head onto the body. So top jaw, larger one is the top jaw, that's the body, spots are at the back and we're going to sew the head in position like that. So turning your head upside down with your small jaw facing forwards, go in and around a stitch like that until you feel like you've definitely got it in the right place for you with the spots facing backwards. Then go in and around a stitch in the body and sew right the way across the front first and then we'll go and we'll sew across the back like that. It does tend to be a bit more challenging sewing up when you've got these loops in the way but um, just Pull your yarn out the way like that before you pull it tight and you should find you'll be able to avoid catching those loops up in your sewing up yarn. There we go. So I've gone in where I think 
it is the correct place. And now I'm just going to fill in those gaps. So I'm just going to go right the way back to meet where I did those first few stitches across the front. And you can't really put in too many stitches at this point. If you find that when you sit him up, he's got a slightly wobbly head because he has got that, um, obviously the heavier head with the full jaw going in, then just put a few extra stitches in like that. There we go. Right, then finish that yarn off like that. And it's time to add some limbs. So using the heel of your hook again, you're just going to put stuffing into the base of the leg. So the feet effectively, you're not going to put stuffing down the leg itself, just into the foot like that. And the two longer, larger legs are the bottom ones. And then the smaller ones are the top ones on this design. There we go. And your top ones have got those suggestion of feathers on with the loop stitch. and a little bit into the tail. When you're putting stuffing into pieces like tails, you can obviously use the heel end of your hook to push the stuffing in that way, but you can also turn your hook the other way around and putting it in through the fabric like that, you can tease that stuffing down into the tip so that it goes nice and evenly all the way down. Right, so we're going to sew the front arms on first. So take them like that, place your loop stitch feathers to the back and then sew the front closed. And then sew these into position either side of the head like that. So you can actually meet that stitch up to where those loop stitches start and sew them into the neckline like that. So position these legs on the bottom and with you, your feet, you've got a front that you need to put forward. So the more bulbous bit is the foot bit that faces the front. Line it up with your head and draw a straight line down the body and then position these legs as if they're on a third line. So imagine you've got a line that comes down here, split that bottom circle into thirds like that and then sew these legs onto the lines that create those thirds.
Right, now for the tail. So taking your tail, we're going to sew it onto the bottom of the body like that. And that bit will flare open flat onto the body. So place the tail on like that. You can always pin it should you wish. Make sure you just look all the way around to check it is lined up with the legs. And then you can just sew around that edge. And I find the neatest way is to go in and take the outside edge of that stitch and then over sew into the body like that. So now the finishing touches is just the eyes. So coming in through. Down for some nostrils. back through for another eye and just go right the way around and you see check that that line is in line with that one and Colin the Velociraptor is complete now you could choose to snip these loops should you wish. So you can either leave them as loops like this or they're all securely um, attached. So you could also snip the ends if you just wanted it to be fluffy rather than loopy as a finish on your dinosaur.